What is up everybody? It's your boy Duty back again with another video and this time we're taking a look at our boy DSP's daily rap video after a day of react that content. That's right. Our boy Phil uh, kept the Dent Street going. That's right. I think he's up to Dent Street day 41, 42. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure he'll mention it here, but uh, it was a little iffy last night. Uh, he was stuck until, of course, Super Dent and Dio came in and dropped a whopping $88 tip to save the Dent Street. That's right. At this point, folks, it just seems like the, uh, the Dents are just trying to stick it to the trolls. Oh, my Lord. So let's see what Phil had to say on the Daily Wrap. Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was uh, Sunday, the 8th of September 2024. If you can believe it, I'm already halfway through my streaming week. And my schedule is so weird this week because of my wife's work schedule that I'm only here for four days this week, okay? <clears throat> Today was React Day, and as you can see, some awesome new animations that we had as we started a new retro React tonight over on DSP Throwback for Resident Evil Director's Cut. Um, but first, let's cover all the topics that we talked about today. On today's Level 1 podcast, I revealed the new Philomania shirt that I will be wearing when I play WWE Champions in the future. We talked about June the King appearing this Friday on the podcast as a special guest for the interview. We also talked about uh, this new... Thing that i looked into that someone had told me about called throne where you can basically it's one of these websites where like um you can pick like a wish list of items that you're interested in and then people if they want can get them for you and i was talking about things we could add on there whether it's stuff for my for jasper kitty my cat or uh whether it's it's uh you know stuff for the setup just some, some stuff we discussed and tossed around man we talked about a lot today on the show we talked about gta 6 supposedly being delayed even though there's no official story for it people are just rumor mongering um you know among other things it was a good show overall i really enjoyed it and I hope that you will check out uh, the podcast in its entirety. But I have two clips. One of showing off this Philomania merch that I got. And also one of kind of going through Throne and walking through it and seeing what it is. So those will be coming out overnight as highlights on the channel. Then we went to DSP React. Alrighty. So yeah. So, uh, God. Yeah, I, I watched a little bit of the stream yesterday. And it was pretty pathetic. The uh, Philomania t-shirt, which, I mean, of course for Phil uh low effort <laughs> low effort is always i mean uh, i don't know what he's gonna do is he planning that if if they hit the dent streak of 150 dollars that phil will put on the philomania shirt with the bandana uh, i'm not sure I, I i'm pretty sure it's, everything he does is always tied to uh always tied to goals and money if he's dropping a couple bucks on anything He's going to tie to money, just like the eight ball, which he didn't spend money on. Uh, just like pretty much the, you know, all, all of his gimmicks where he tries to extract uh, the uh, the money from the Velcro wallet. Uh, it, it it has some it, it, he's trying to get some money out of there, out of the den's pocket. So I'm guessing that's what he's going to do. And then the other thing, of course, that he talked about is he opened up a throne account. That's right. If you don't know what Throne is, it's essentially kind of like an Amazon wish list for eThoughts. That 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 that's essentially what it is. E eThoughts girls, uh, only fan girls, they go to this website, they create this, uh, they create an account, and then they add items. They add wish list items to it. Uh, anything from like uh, a MacBook Pro that costs 4K, uh, all the way down to food. And uh, you go in there and you make a wish list and then you put the link out for your 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 throne account. And hopefully you have idiots, you know, idiots that uh, throw money at Phil. Hopefully they'll go in there and buy Phil some money. Uh, excuse me, buy Phil some stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, Phil is just he's went full in on the e thought e beggar. I mean, uh, pretty soon he's going to be wearing a bathing suit. That, that's, that's the next thing I'm waiting on. He's, he's taking a picture out of Amaranth, and uh, he's gonna start wearing bathing suits. And uh, you know, if uh, if they hit the if they hit the tier three tip goal, maybe Phil will will, will take off his top. I, I'm not sure what the plan is, but it just seems like Phil is going full in. He he's so desperate for uh, keeping keeping this dent streak streak alive, and he knows he's counting down the days until the Kino folks come back. Uh, once they come back, uh, support will go back to its normal. Uh, frequency of you know barely hitting 50 bucks uh, a stream so he's trying everything in his power because it's either this shit like this or it's drama it's him talking about the tractors and so on and uh, as we know most of his uh, hardcore dents who are going to stick around after this uh, uh, support goes away uh, they're already sick and tired of it I mean poor Jade if you watch Jade 
uh, the guy is completely uh, upset every time bring Phil, Phil, Phil excuse me, brings my name up. Uh, so it's pretty sad. So yeah, I, I want to do a video separate on the whole uh, Phil turning into an e-thought after this one because uh, I got a lot to say on it. So let's keep going. And on DSP Reacts, it was time for DSP versus the Internet, my weekly clips react show. Great variety of clips this week. I mean, they were all over the place. You might say, wait a minute, Phil, what happened? There's no videos live yet. You're right. I, I think what's happened is since I upped my recording quality, all right, which I did recently, and I did it for good reason. It was because when I was doing gameplay of certain games like Black Myth Wukong, um, the games were getting like fuzzy and pixelated. And I think that's because I added in my new 1080p webcam. You know, now when I'm playing games, the webcam's 1080p widescreen. So it's like 1080p on 1080p, it's eating a lot of the bitrate. So recently I upped the bitrate of all of my my videos. And it seems like for gameplay and the podcast, it seems fine to upload. But when I get to do these react shows, the Sunday react show particularly, for some reason the videos don't upload fast enough to, to finish up and then go live at my late stream. So literally I'm staring at it right now. Before I was going to do my late stream tonight, the, this one video was like 59%. One was at like 60. A bunch were in the 70s. And I had to stop the uploads. I'm like, I don't have time. We're not going to do wait three hours for these videos to upload. It takes too long. So they've been suspended. And as of right now, since I'm now filming offline stuff and I'm not streaming anymore, they're now uploading again. So you should get two parts of DSP versus the, uh, the internet tonight. And then four more parts, one each every day coming up, scheduled out for the week. If you're a channel member of DSP Reaction, you get to access that archive stream immediately. So you don't have to wait. So I hope that you will um, <clears throat> if you're interested or if you want to nominate clips for, you know, the next uh, week. That's how you can do it. And the threads for that we put up tonight. In fact, once I'm done with this, I'm going to start setting up the streams for next week, the threads for next week, and get all that done. So apologies, the videos didn't go live fast. I, I wanted them to, but I can't make these videos upload any faster. I don't know what the whole holdup is taking so long, but they're going right now, okay? Uh, well, you know, Phil, I can tell you what that is. When you're trying to slam your internet uh, with three or four videos at the same time, that, that's the problem, Phil. You, YouTube really isn't made for that. Especially when you're trying to load, what, half-hour segments? Because that's what I think Phil does. Doesn't Phil break it down by half-hours? So you're trying to load a 30-minute file, which is probably around 2 to 3 uh, uh, gigabytes uh, large. You're trying to funnel that and, and, and not only load one file per, you know, at, at a time. You're doing three at a time. So you're trying to cram six gigs of information over to YouTube. Yeah, it's going to take hours for that to process, Phil. I don't understand this issue with you with trying to just cram shit in. How about you just load one file at a time? Load it, go do something, and then, you know, it doesn't matter anyway, because what are you getting? You're getting, what, 300 views on those videos? If that? No one cares, Phil. No no one cares. The only people that care about that are the, pay, are the paying members. And the paying members, for the most part, so, already saw what, what you did live. So they, they really don't care about the videos. They they don't. You're I, I, I looked at it this morning and I think you're you're probably at like two hundred views. I mean no one cares. I don't even know why you bother. You should strictly you should just strictly upload the, the uh the podcast. At least with the podcast. So with with I mean with that podcast, that two hour podcast, it, it helps you in engage it helps you with engagement. It'll help you with how many ads you run on it because it is huge. YouTube loves these very long uh streams. Like if they're an hour, two hours long, YouTube loves that shit and they spam that shit with, with, with ads. Why don't you just upload that? You would get way more views. If you add up how many views you get from the one podcast versus the the what, you do like six videos for the week? It it doesn't come anywhere close. It doesn't come anywhere close to the view count and ad revenue, Phil. So you're doing yourself a disservice. And at that, you know, once you once you finish the podcast and then you just shut it down and release it, it goes live immediately. It's available like right away. So I still don't understand this concept of you trying to and, and no one cares. What you you're worried that you're not gonna be able if you don't cut it up, you're not gonna be able to get ad revenue. You don't get ad revenue anyway. I just it, it makes zero fucking sense why you're doing this. It doesn't. And you you specifically say yourself that most of these videos get claimed anyway because of other people's clips. So so who cares, really? I mean, who really cares? And I'm pretty sure that, that, that the night one, the night stream that you do, that's the same thing. It probably gets it probably gets zero ads because it's reused content. That's probably another thing too, Phil. But it, it it's just so fucking pointless. You waste so much time for so little effort. Like, if you were to really seriously look at your analytics, Phil, of, of this month that just passed, you see how good you did? 
The only thing that really brought you views, Phil, was your drama shit. Was your Keemstar interview, was your Craig interview, anything with drama brought you videos. When you when you decided to try to talk shit about me, that brought you views. Not your clips, not not your podcast, none of that shit, not your gameplay. No one cares. You get the same amount of views on those videos that you were getting before your resurgence. So again, it's just the it's just all this work for nothing, for no payback whatsoever. But I, I guess I guess you have an excuse to claim you're busy. I, I, I guess you can you can use that. That that's a positive, I guess. Down the second street tonight, it was the premiere of the retro react of Resident Evil Director's Cut on DSP Throwback, and we had a lot of fun. Basically, it's the original version of Resident Evil One on PS3, uh, PS1, as emulated on the PS3. It was April 2013. This was a time I had literally just started doing direct capture, but I wasn't interacting with my audience whatsoever. Ah! I wasn't interacting with my audience whatsoever. It was as if the audience wasn't even there, the live audience. I wasn't reading stream chat. I wasn't doing shout outs. I wasn't taking in any contributions. It was basically just me with an echoey mic and direct capture 720p of the game. And to some extent, it's good because I'm like, I'm hyper focused on the game. At the same time, man, it feels so different from what I do today where I'm constantly talking, interacting with an audience and you get that social aspect. So um, we watched it for about two and a half hours. We had fun with it. I think I did four parts. I'm not sure if it was four or five parts, but we did a good amount of parts. We got seven parts into the playthrough. The playthrough is 38 parts. So, you know, based on that progress, it looks like if we were to continue on, we'd probably finish it in about a month to a month and a half, which is good because it would take us into mid-October. Everyone would be feeling the horror vibes, right? I'm down for that. And everyone tonight seemed to like it. They actually really enjoyed it. So I think we will likely continue with that uh, next week. I think that makes sense to continue with that next Sunday night, okay? So, um, you know, all that being said, good stuff. I had a great day today. And the good news, even though it was React Day and there was no gameplay, I still hit all the goals. We continue the streak. It's now at 41 in climbing. And today I made an announcement. If I hit 50, which would continue it all through the week into the weekend to Saturday, I would order food on the fly on Saturday when we hit the goal and we would do a fly feasting with Phil. I told everyone that would be pretty cool because we're not, we're really not scheduled to do another feasting with Phil. We're going to call it feasting with the king again, by the way, since now the king moniker is back. Um, but yeah, like I hadn't, um, I definitely had not uh, done one of these videos in like a month and a half. And I don't have plans to do another one until like Halloween. So it's a perfect thing to kind of fit in between as a celebration of these 50 straight streams of great support. So yeah, we'll do that if we can do it all week. But anyway, we hit it again. So we crushed it yet again. Thank you to everyone who's showing up, engaging and supporting with all of my content. You are helping me tremendously right now. And I thank you. Now, another thing happened today. I received my wireless adapter for my, my, uh, yeah, nobody cares, Phil. <laughs> Genuinely, Phil, no one gives a shit. Okay, so, uh, yeah, the dent streak. That's what I'm calling it now, folks, the dent streak. Uh, I think he, I'm not sure, I think he's up to 42 or 43. So, uh, let me get this straight, Phil. You're going to reward your viewers for throwing you $150 plus per stream, right? You're going to reward them by uh, ordering DoorDash. That's what you're gonna do, Phil. You're gonna you're gonna reward them for everything they they've done for you for the thousands of dollars they've thrown upon into your coffers, well, WWE Champions coffers. You're gonna reward them by spending more money on DoorDash. That that's your reward, Phil. God, Jesus Christ. I, I'm pretty positive all that money that he received in the last month or six weeks, that shit is all gone. All every single dollar is spent and gone. As you can see, all the crap that he's buying. I mean, he bought all the crap from his his background, the, the joystick, the the elite joystick. No one gifted him that shit. He went and he went on the fucking Amazon and bought it just like he bought everything else. Um, all that money's just fucking gone, man. It's gone. He has zero to fucking show for it. The other little thing, too, as he mentioned on his podcast was uh, yesterday was that dinner didn't go so well. So since dinner didn't go so well, he ended up buying um, he ended up buying more DoorDash. That's right. They ordered some burritos. It, it, you can just clearly tell that this man ordered out at least. I mean, what what what, what, what do you have? Seven days a week, three meals, three meals. Man, that's 21 meals a day, 21 meals a week. The man is, is literally probably ordering DoorDash. I'm going to say two thirds of the time. At least 14 out of those 21 meals, he's ordering fucking DoorDash. He just is. I'm, I'm sorry. There's just no if ands about it. And he, and it's probably even more so now, now that he has more money coming in. We all know Phil never saves for a fucking rainy day. In Phil's eyes, a rainy a, a rainy day fund is money you spent when it rains. That That's Phil's concept of, you know, a, a rainy day fund. 
And this Den Streak bullshit, again, yesterday, what do you mean? He made $156 on the night stream. And that was only because a, mail, a Hail Mary tip came in from uh, Super Dent and Dio where he dropped $88. If it wasn't for that, he wouldn't have hit that fucking streak whatsoever. At all. At all. I'm sorry. He he just wouldn't have ha had it. So now it's, it's essentially just the Dents trying to stick it to the trolls. That's essentially what it is. So, uh, or they're trying to stick it to the trolls to the point where they hope the trolls will go away. Okay, you keep doing that. Let's see who, uh, let's see who outlasts who. Let's see if your bank account will outlast the tractors. It's never going to happen, man. It's never going to happen. It, 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 and, and I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to eclipse the best streak of 276 consecutive uh, streams. Yeah, I, I, I doubt if these dents have the funds for that. Like I said, once the Kino guys come back, the bulk of their supporters will, will probably drove back to them, watch their content, support them. Because as soon as they notice that their pockets are getting hit because some of that money's going to fill, uh, I'm pretty sure their their tune will change when it comes to, to, to Phil and his content and uh, the June the King documentary. You're going to hear some more fucking, uh, uh, you're going to hear some more shit from the Kino folks, uh, especially once they're pot, once they come back and they start streaming. Let, let's see how, how fond they are about sharing their cash. Uh, ensuring their viewers cash uh, with Phil. Let, let's see how well that goes. Anyway, folks, that's all I have. He talks more about a stupid controller. No one gives a shit. Uh, the only thing I, I find interesting is that this is like, what, the third joystick he's bought in like three months? I mean, it's just... He, he He's he's reverting full back. He's reverting back to the Phil of 2010. That's what he is. The king of hate shit is back. He's begging way more. I mean, the begging is just up front now. Um, what what else is he doing? He he's being an asshole and and he's not hiding it. He just doesn't give a shit. Uh, he just he just he just traveled back in time. All of these years of trying to retcon his life and trying to retcon his uh, persona, thrown out the window because a few fucking people threw cash his way. It, it just goes to show his uh, integrity. Phil loves to talk about integrity and his moral being and his moral fiber dude you, you, he would probably you could probably get him to uh to to to, to beat to beat the eight-year-old if you give him enough money that's how fucking pathetic this dude is i mean it's just sad i mean anyway that's all i have folks hope you guys enjoyed the video peace out